There are cars and it's snowing. Hello everyone, my name is Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing some apps that you can use for school for your phone. They will help you out so much. They will help you with your schoolwork, with your classwork, getting your homework done faster, all that great stuff, getting A's on all of your tests. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to subscribe and do all that amazing stuff and let's jump right into the video. The very first must-have app that I will be sharing with you guys is Google Drive. It is very helpful. You can make folders for all of your classes that you have and then you can store all of your files on this drive from Google Slides, Google Docs, and it's accessible from any device. You can also store different types of files like PDFs for example and you can comment on them. It's amazing. The next app is Khan Academy. I'm sure you've all heard of it. It helps you study for a variety of different subjects, chemistry, biology, science, even SAT setting and MCAT setting and all of that stuff. They have a lot of really great videos with amazing instructors on a bunch of different topics that you can watch and they explain all of the material that you need to know. They also have really nice like note handout type of things that you can access and it has all the information that you need and you can use it kind of like a study guide whenever you need help with any topic in any subject. The third app is Citation Z. This helps you cite any books, websites, any sources that you use for school because you know that plagiarism is bad and if you need to cite something fast, this can be very helpful because you can just look up the book that you need or you can even just make the citations yourself. You can put them in projects and then here you go. They're accessible to you from your phone and you have that with you all the time. So if you find a source, you can just access it and cite it right on the spot. The next app is Google Docs. This is part of the whole Google Drive system. The reason why I like Google Docs more than like Microsoft Word and stuff is because you can edit from any device, mobile, Android, and stuff like that. And this makes it a very great go-to app if you need to finish a homework assignment, for example, when you're out on the road. This next thing is Word Reference. Word Reference is an amazing translator and online dictionary and it has so many different languages on there. I study French for example and I can translate any English word into French, any French word into English. It says what type of word it is, noun, verb, all that stuff and a bunch of synonyms for it as well. This next app is Flashcards Plus. This is a great way to study any vocab or a lot of information that you have for any subject. You can create the subject, you can change the color of it and also make a little symbol thing for it. Then you can create flashcards, you can create a specific unit, organize them that way, and then create flashcards with your word that you need and then the information on the back. And then you can study it by accessing the deck that you created and then just flipping on it and like, just like you would normal flashcards, except that these are online and easily accessible everywhere and much easier than paper flashcards. Next thing is PCALC Lite. This is a scientific calculator that you can always carry with you in your pocket. You can do exponents here, square root, there's pi, there's sine, cosine, all of the stuff that isn't usually accessible on a normal calculator that comes with your phone. You can also do permutations. This is just a very handy thing to always keep with you at school and anywhere you go. Then we have Slater. This, in my opinion, is one of my favorite apps that I use personally for school. Here you can scan any book that you have or you can search it up too. But for example, I have my calculus book. If I scan it, it's gonna pop up with all of the chapters that I have with all the assignments that are in the book. And then if you click on the chapter that you need, whatever chapter you need, it will come up with all of the answers to all of the problems in the homework assignment as well as the solutions that are submitted by several different users. There's also photos of different solutions that you can use to solve the problems and also step-by-step -step descriptions depending on the question. I find this very helpful and this just helps me with my math homework because I struggle with math as I'm sure you do too. So download this if you want some help with math and you can look up your book there. Then we have iStudies Pro. This is a great way to kind of organize all of your school information and stuff. The most important thing is you can connect it to all of your calendars that you have on Google and whatnot on your phone and then there you can have all of your stuff planned um, and the kind of shared between your calendars you can also create classes 
and semesters and like courses so i have my second semester here created and i can add courses for that semester choose a color and then i can put any exams or any assignments that are specifically for that class specifically that semester i can specify the date the time and all of that for my exam and then also set a notification another thing i really like is you can add grades and weights for your grade as well as how many credits the class is worth then we have sat practice this is just a helpful mobile app that i sometimes used to study for the sat when i wasn't at home and i didn't have an access to a computer then we have Quizlet. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of this app. This is kind of like Flashcards Plus, except you can create terms and then you can learn them. You can learn to spell them. There's also tests available that you can take using the sets that you have created. It also like helps you remember things because it makes you retype them if you get them wrong and you can keep doing them in a variety of different ways. You can also practice them using the match option where you like match the different words that you have to definitions and stuff and i personally find this app very helpful to study for any test for any subject so this will be it for all of the apps these are all very useful i suggest you try out at least one of them thank you so much for watching this will be it as always i hope this video helped you out and you found some new apps that you never knew before hopefully you can go get your homework done using these amazing apps get your life organized become more successful in school and as always i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.